What's going on, everybody? Hey, y'all. We are back. Woo! This is Drinks and Conversation. The podcast. Yes, and we're on episode 46. I know. Yeah. And I'm Intro Picks, and I'm always in the building. And I'm Auntie Tosin, and it's always going, going down. down. What's up, Oxy Toes? Hey, hey, how you doing? I'm doing good. Did you get a, Did you get some good food over the weekend? Of course. I think I always eat good food, but y'all know it was Thanksgiving weekend. It was Thanksgiving. I ate a little something. I did a little house hopping, so it was good. It was did good. Did you get some stuffing? I did get stuffing. You did get stuffing? I didn't get any sweet potatoes, though. And I didn't get no cornbread. See, I had cornbread, and it was actually really good. Did, you? did they did. really put the corn in there? It was, I don't like that. You don't like it like that? I don't like corn? it like that. Mm-mm. Man, you don't, you don't know about I don't about like it. that, but my cornbread was good. So what did you wind up doing? Did you want, did you have it at your house? Did you? No. Where did you go somewhere for Thanksgiving? I had a little what? bit at my house, but we really didn't do like Thanksgiving. It was just dinner. And then I went to uh, my cousin's house, and I went to a family friend's house. So like I said, I did a little house Oh, so house you was house hop. Yeah, you was hop. You was house, house mealing and getting all your meals. Hustling, from the, hustling. Hustling. Yeah. Getting them plates. In. <laughs> I don't know that's How right. was yours? Did you? Did you? You will never use your gas. So whose house did you go to? Yeah, you know I went to somebody else's house. <laughs> okay. And um, actually went to my girl sister's house. So Aww. she wound up hosting Thanksgiving, and it was it was good. I had a good time. That's the food was yeah. good. The food was good. I st- I'm still eating on some of that food to this okay. day. All right. So you know, you know Thanksgiving leftovers be lasting. Oh my God! And it it be just as good as the first day. Exactly. Sometimes, depending <laughs> on who made it. But yeah, there was a lot of struggle plates out there that I've been seeing on the gram and stuff Let me like tell that. Tell you, when you posting your food on a paper plate, I know the struggle is real. <laughs> like I hate seeing a good meal on a paper plate. What's wrong with a paper it's plate? Just, it just upsets the natural order of things in my mind and the way that I feel it's supposed to be. See, when you got them dishes that you got to worry about doing it, then you're going to be like, yeah. yeah. That's for the little kids. You know, the little kids on this dude. <laughs> <laughs> Let me take it. You was the one that was doing the dishes back in the day. You already know. Yeah. Okay. You uh, already know. Well, you know, I this Thanksgiving, I had a really good time. And um, next year, I'm going to try to go out of town, do a little something, something. But go where? No, I'm probably gonna see my family in New York. New York? Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, probably do that. I should have known. I should have known. But did you watch the Soul Train of War? Soul I know. Train Let me do it again. One, two, yeah, three. You, you ain't do it right. I know. I know. It was like a Take dry two. soul. Take two. Together though. Right. One, two, three. Soul. say that often about a lot of award shows like this particular show i really enjoy from beginning to end and i didn't think erica badu was gonna do that good like i didn't but i loved it i loved every part of it but my climax of the show i will have to say i love brandy getting honored and i love um teddy riley's performance and him being honored too. So, yeah, I love both of those. I didn't know he did those many songs. I didn't know, you know, sometimes we need a, a check tape. You know, sometimes we need to get checked on how many songs and things or how instrumental he was in the music industry. And Brandy too. So, what about you? Uh, I, like, I enjoyed the show as well. I mean, let me tell you. We, I think we both had the favorite parts. I enjoyed the whole Brandy performance. I enjoyed the whole Teddy Riley performance. I enjoyed all the artists that came out to pay tribute. But let me tell you, oh, I had the biggest crush on Mace back in the day. Like when I was in sixth grade, like <laughs> Harlem World, Mace and Betha. Like that was my boo. When he hey. came out dressed in hey. all white, looking like an angel. I was like, oh, yeah. He was yes. not looking like an angel. He was. <laughs> Get he out of here. No, he, he 
he was looking on, like an angel. No, he had on the meek meek. He was just looking so fine. He, he was, was looking, looking real like 90, 90s. He was looking real. For me personally, like like seeing him how, like seeing him in a video that actually kind of knew of Michael Jackson. Like that song was popping around that, was that your time. Introduction to Michael yeah, Jackson? that was my oh, introduction. Okay. Yeah, Woo. yep. And that was my favorite video because I used to be, you know, doing the little Egyptian joints and whatnot. Like, yeah, that was it. But yeah, Teddy Riley. Shout he, out to Teddy Riley. Yeah, he he's definitely a legend in the game, Absolutely. and I'm Absolutely. glad he got his time to shine. Absolutely. And like he said, this is something it's overdue, but he it got was. it when he when when when, the, when God was the ready right to give it to him. The right yep. time, you know. Yep. So let's go through because Drew Hill opened the show. That was a bomb.com okay. moment. <laughs> I know if you saw my Facebook, I was like, Cisco still got it. He still got it. Yeah, Cisco was up to eat. Yeah, he, he did. did the moonwalk. He walked forward. I was he yeah, bent he around. Yeah. But let's just say this: the thong song was the song, the song, back in the day. and it just First, pushed that envelope to be like more raunch. I think it, I think it, 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 it picked a lock to ratchetness because after the thong song, then you know you had the Nelly uh, say that went ratchet. on. It just went a little bit more ratchet after. I that. think with us, it's a little different because at the age we were, maybe we feel like that. Because we were kind of young when Man, the thong they wasn't thong showing came no out. girls with no thongs on at that around that Let time. Besides you, that song, I'm sure it was something late night or something going on that we weren't allowed to stay up for <laughs> at that time. I think for us being able to watch it because that video played early, you know, I think okay, I'll give you that. But I'm sure it was a lot of worse stuff on. I we mean, it probably was, but nothing it. probably that big. I mean, come on, the thong song was big. Not only because it had a catchy hook, but the thing about it, it was nothing but girls and thongs just in the video, like just dancing around, like it was. Dun, 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 dun. I know the song and I know the video, but I'm sure there's a lot more raunchy stuff oh. going on at that time. I'm pretty sure. Make the booty go. But oh. shout out to Cisco. He did his thing. Shout out to Drew Hill. They did their thing. Yeah. And I think it was a good decision to have them open up the show. I think they the did. Show a opened great. up completely well. Uh, I enjoyed it. I was, I was, I was, Dude, you were I was like, hey, hey. <laughs> I think they did a great job opening the show. Absolutely. Basically, I enjoyed it. It wasn't boring, and it wasn't. And they, st they still got it when they can still entertain. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't want to hear an album from them, but shut you up. Know. Shut up. I know when they were in DC, I heard they put on a great show too a little while back. I heard this show was going like they said he was going backflip. He was running. They thought he was going to jump off the stage. So, I mean, he jacks. be doing his thing. He be doing his thing. You think Cisco could still come out today? I think anything is possible. And I, I feel like if you dream it, it's go after it. Try it. Okay. All That's right. how I feel. I ain't going to put a damper in anyone's dream. Uh, Let's talk about Carl Thomas. Carl Thomas was in the show, too. So he gets you. overlooked sometimes. Let, let me look. <laughs> you saw my post. Summer it's rain. Yes, that was my jam yes, back in the I day. Like, I loved it. I love Car Thomas. But I love Car Thomas by default. Like, my sister back in the day, when she loved the album, she would play it over and over and over and over and it was over. A good album. So I was introduced to Car Thomas just because she never stopped playing the damn CDs. Played it on heavy rotation. I knew all the songs. Exactly. So, I mean, but it was good to see him. I like. 
people who fell off, I like for them to have that opportunity to come back on stage because it is something they did because they love. Carl it. Thomas is still out here performing and doing his thing. I ain't, he not on that platform. So there's a difference. You know what I mean? Uh, like I you mean, could come yeah. to DC and perform at the Howard Theater or perform at you know uh, the Fillmore, but when you're at Verizon Center, it's just a different feel. It is it's a different. different feel. So you know, it for is. him to be on that platform, I'm happy for him. Well, you know, I met Carl Thomas a couple of years ago back at Layla Lounge, and um, I got a chance to talk to him for about at least about a good 15 minutes. And he's actually a real cool, down to earth kind of guy. I believe and, you. And I was just, I was kind of surprised. I mean, not surprised that he's a down to earth kind of guy, but it's surprised that he just kept it so regular. You know, yeah. like just a, like a regular person on the street, baby. As he should. Yeah. They are just regular people. You know, and then we just put them, we feel like they sitting on top of the world. world. But they're just hey. regular people, you yeah. know. Regular. Let's talk about Tiana Taylor because and Tiana her dress Taylor. And she come walk in. <laughs> God, that was, it was so funny. Yo, Tiana Taylor is funny. <laughs> you know, I feel like she's just, she's popping. She's always been kind of popping, but she ain't never she's like. She's always been there. She's been like right at the edge. Like, yeah, she's always there. Like, she's present, but she's not in the center of the room. She's out right. off to the corner somewhere. And I feel like time. she's getting there. But she, I love her. Yeah. She you came out and she said, <laughs> y'all know who Tiana, Tiana Taylor is. You might want to Google her. But she came out and she uh, she kept it real. She said, you know what? I can't read this old teleprompter, so I'm going to have my little cue card and whatnot. And I'm like, dang, we'll just get some contacts. But Maybe you like that. Maybe she forgot to put them in, you know? No, no. I like Tiana Taylor. I like her, too. I like her child. I like her husband. I like their whole little unit. They're cute. I like that. But you know what I'm... What, what didn't you like about the show? Okay. The, one thing I, that I didn't it? really like, I didn't like the performance with Erica Badu. I can't remember the guy that, that with she With the was, locks? Who with the locks, the yeah. I, did, I, I wasn't really feeling that whole song. I wasn't, I really didn't get it. Um, something about a Wi-Fi and losing connectivity, I don't know. But I couldn't, I couldn't do it, yeah. I wanted to fast forward that part, though. Yeah, I, couldn't, I couldn't do that. What about you? A moment that I disliked about the show, I didn't really dislike anything. I mean, I told you what I was really excited for, but I didn't really dislike anything. I just feel like in my mind, award shows are just not what they used to be. I don't know if they could ever be what they used to be for but me I when I was growing up. But uh, it was a cool show. It was a cool show. But what is it like they used to be? Because I felt like this award show kind of gave me what award shows used to be like. But that's good. I mean, I just don't feel that same way. I mean, I used to be so excited for a war show. Like, oh my goodness, every second this was so it was, it was like I felt like pyrotechnics throughout the whole show. And now I just don't get that feeling when I watch a war show. I barely watch them. But because it was a train awards, you know, I had to go ahead and give it a go. Get that rating support. <laughs> get that um, rating support. Get them ratings up, you know. But um, it was cool. It was cool. I, enjoy, I mean, I was getting my hair done at the time. So, I mean, it was cool. Well, Do you know I'm, what I dislike? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, we were about to talk about the time. Do you know what I dislike, though? What? And what I'm really, like, tired of seeing on my timeline? I don't want to say that I don't like this person. I don't know this person. I just want them off my damn timeline. Orlando Brown. <laughs> and his rent and his craziness. And his but how are you on your timeline? Because he makes because it in the shade room. You know, you know how Facebook does. It's like yeah. every, anytime someone likes or reads. They just show you more than you even need to see. Yeah. And it's like always on my timeline. I'm tired of seeing him. But see, Orlando Bloom is trying to be Not Orlando Bloom. I'm sorry, people. Orlando Brown. Brown. Sorry. Orlando. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get that correct. Um, Orlando Brown. He He's trying to be relevant again. So he's saying these spontaneous things. But at the same time. He's just mad. Like, where's his career going outside of going? talking about, or is outside of talking about Raven Simone? I don't know where it is, but I'm hoping that he, he 
goes and finds it. And the first step to finding where his career is is getting off of social media and getting to auditions. I think he just needs to stay away from social media right now altogether. It's like at up. one point it's funny, but then at the other point it's like a cry for help. And at the other point it's cringeworthy. It's like, ooh, I just I can't watch anymore. I just feel bad for him. Like, you, can someone in your family help you? Like, get off of social media and stop making these videos. He say videos. he's doing a major pain, a new, a major pain, another major pain. Oh, God. I don't know. Orlando Brown. Okay, <laughs> he do need to just sit down and go off into a corner somewhere and yes. clean himself up just a little bit. But yeah. A lot of it, because he, he was an episode of Train the Wars. That's what we know. Hey. Oh, gosh. Now, speaking of social media and timelines and posts and all that stuff, do you have any friends or family, per se, that's not on social media? Oh, yeah, that's not on Facebook. Let's just put the yeah. not on Facebook, yeah, right? My own sister, she's not on Facebook. Okay, so. But I think those people always have something to hide. But the thing is, whatever goes on on social media, do you run and go tell them what's on uh-huh. there? I feel like if you're not, if you don't have an account, like if you're not on Facebook, you don't need to know what people post. I like, you don't need to know what's on there. So, example. Okay, so who in your life? No one in my <laughs> life. This is not personal. This is just I'm saying. Like right I notice this on my timeline. Like people will come on Facebook and they'll vent. Like okay, it doesn't matter what I have as my status. How do you even know what I'm saying? You're not even on, you know, Facebook. But someone who is on Facebook is running telling that, running telling that. And I feel like, look, if they're not on Facebook, they don't even know what's going on. on Facebook. Well, listen, if you popping your gums <laughs> about somebody, <laughs> all right, and you sending subliminal messages. Somebody is, you want somebody to read it to go run tell that. No, that's, that's the only reason true. why that happens. Come I on, let's do it. I feel like sometimes social media, which I don't agree with, I think they can find another outlet, but people use it to vent. Sometimes you want to get something off your chest and you get the typing. Yeah. But it's not it's, for somebody to go and tell. Okay. It, you should do that on Twitter because therefore <laughs> <laughs> ain't nobody going to read that shit after about no, five I seconds. I just feel like it's but, bad. But listen, like, I get it. Social media is a way to vent. It is a way to put something out there. But let's be real. You only really doing it just so someone can see it. Like you're not venting just to be venting. You're yes. venting so someone can see it and they can you can get some type of reaction. I don't think I don't think they're doing it for someone. Venting itself can be therapeutic. Like you vent and you get over it. You let it out. It's like letting it out or going into the woods and screaming and just getting it all out. That's okay. how some people feel about it. So I don't think that they're doing it for a reaction or for a response. To they are they're doing it for because themselves. I don't think not. I don't think so. We disagree there, which is cool. So what are you doing it for? Because you think to nobody vent. is going to read your your, your status a, or your post? It's not about anyone else when people do stuff like that. It's about them and getting it off their chest. It's internal, not okay. external. Okay, so when the president-elect uh, tweets out at 3 o'clock in the morning these rants, oh, he's just venting, basically. Now, now you know, we talk, he's a special case. I mean, come case. on. I mean, we, no, he's a special case. He's a special <laughs> case. Like, the fact that you even brought him into this conversation is just like, Because what? that happens all the time. No, you got but Kanye not West out here it. ranting. You got this person out here venting. Okay, all of these people are out here venting in public format. And you, it's because you want a reaction. I don't think it's because you want a reaction. I think because you want to vent. Now, you have no control over the reaction if you get it. But I think if you just want it to vent. Like, if I go on Facebook, Facebook right now and I say something about what I told you about, I'm not doing it for a reaction. I just want to vent. But I'm not going to go to him. Well, why you got to go to Facebook specifically? I'm not going to. Why you got to go to all your friends on Facebook it's to the vent? Same, it's the same way you would just turn to hit your best friend up. What about that person? But that's in private. But that's a private conversation. That is, not everybody has a best friend. Not everybody is social. Not everybody has people they can tell their people to. Their friends are on their Facebook. Okay, so why They're you just don't friends. message that one friend on Facebook? Of course. Everybody is their friend. Maybe they don't feel close enough to one person. <laughs> Basically, because you're trying to get likes and you're trying to get a reaction. Now, you go ahead and write this four-page letter on Facebook 
and don't nobody respond, you're going to be feeling real lonely out here in the world. No, people put stuff up all the time and don't get a like and don't get a response. I see it. It's funny to me, but I mean, I see it. So that's it's not always the case. That's just because you don't like it don't mean that your people don't see it. And that's... I just feel like you don't like if you post something on your Facebook and grandma don't got Facebook, don't nobody need to go tell grandma what you was posting on but your But if Facebook. I'm talking stuff about grandma... <laughs> You damn right. Somebody gonna be like, you know what your what your grandson done said about you today on Facebook? Called you all types of old hags. Mama Joyce wearing wig wearing. You, so <laughs> you know. So come on. We'll agree and disagree. Okay. Social media is for the people that have profiles. If you ain't on it, you don't need to know. Do what's you see me on. venting on Facebook? All the time. <laughs> no. All the time. Put a praise on it. Okay, and get the, the reaction time. I need. Hey, <laughs> share that message. Because we need to vent. Yeah. Pretty much, pretty much. So what do you think about this whole Kanye situation that's going on? Because the story is still developing. Well, what do we know so far? We know that he canceled his, the rest of his tour. We know that he checked himself into, allegedly checked himself into, uh... I guess a, a rehab psychiatric psychiatric center, uh-huh. and um, he was supposed to be released today, but under doctor's orders, he needs to actually stay a little bit longer. Now, some people are saying that he's only doing this because so he can get out of paying for all of the tour dates that he has scheduled, so that he won't get sued, basically. Because the only way you can get out of those, sometimes you can get out of those contracts, is by either bodily injury or mental illness. Mental illness. He better pay that damn from keeping them sick. That's not bodily injury is the only way you should be able to get out of that. But I mean, if he's going to a psychiatric person or going to a psychiatric hospital and he's seeking help for his issues, by all means, I applaud him. I think that's what she's supposed to do. I'm grateful that I don't know personally, you know, about mental health issues. I've never had to go that route. But I really, do. shut up. <laughs> but you know, if he's getting help for it, I'm all happy for him, and I hope that he recovers, and I hope that he gets the help that he needs because I know it's the anniversary. This is around the time where he lost his mom, and he's going through a lot. And I hear like that stuff always sticks. With you. Listen, I. I don't think Kanye is crazy at all. I do think he is going through something. Yeah. I think he's been going through stuff for a minute. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I don't live his life, nope. but I know that dealing with fame and dealing with all the things that you want to accomplish really? and maybe even stepping up, staying at that status quo, you know, is hard. You know, he has a family. He has kids. He's a father, he's a musician, he's a producer, he's an entrepreneur. He's, it's a lot of stress. It is. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what, what caused him to do, throw away his a, 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 a 20 city tour. I don't know what would make him want to stop doing that. And I don't know what would make him, I don't know what, you know what I, you know what I really think it is, Oxytocin? I think the relationship between him and Jay-Z is taking more of a toll on him than anything. Because I feel like he lost his mom, and now he's kind of like losing his best friend. Or his mentor. Or his mentor. Right. I'm sure that's got to hurt. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, like, like what he say when, it, when he went through that traumatic experience, well, his wife went through the traumatic experience of being robbed and stuff like this. But you got to understand, Kanye's a guy who almost lost his life already. His life. Okay, he was in a car accident that literally, you know, destroyed his whole jaw, his whole mouth, you know? So, and then he lost his mother, you know what I'm saying? And then his wife was about to get killed. You know, so, and his family. So, now that he's losing, I think, his relationship with Jay-Z, I think, is really, it's 
sound like the last straw. I still hope it gets better. That's a lot to say about Kanye West. I truly, truly, truly hope it gets better. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> that's, that's all I have to say. Kanye West, drinks and conversation gives you our support. Absolutely. Definitely. Speaking of Kanye West, Amber Rose just announced that she is leaving social media until 2017. What was your thoughts about Ooh, that? Ooh, that's only a couple weeks away. <laughs> What we gonna get? <laughs> Hopefully we get like a new pig or something. Oh I don't gosh. know. Oh gosh, you were so stupid. I mean, she felt like she needed a social media break. What do you think about people who take social media fast? Like, is that necessary? Is it not? Do no, you because to? I deal with a co-host that does that all the time. Hold up, are you? Are you? I'm talking down? about you. What do you mean? Yes. But I don't. Let me tell you, let me tell you, let me talk to the <laughs> listeners for a quick second. <laughs> listeners, are you listening? <laughs> Oxytocin will take a break from social media. Like, like as if it's like crack or something. Or <laughs> like as if it's like, like totally like wrapped around her whole entire world. Where she's like, I need a vacation from <laughs> social media. And I'm like, really? <laughs> From liking a couple pictures and uh, posting, <laughs> inventing on Facebook, so I, I don't vent on Facebook. So my whole thing is, I don't know. It's it's challenging dealing with someone who likes to go <laughs> on and off of social media, but not only go on and off of social media, announces that they're going on and off of social I media. I, but I tell you, but I don't announce it to everyone. You tell everybody. If you plan on reaching me for the next couple of days, <laughs> I will not be on Facebook or Facebook I Messenger. You are such a liar. You are such a liar. I can't deal with you. I'll respond to you in three to five business days. <laughs> no, but I think it's healthy. I think it's natural. I think it's normal because sometimes when you're scrolling through people's profiles or liking people's stuff, be it Instagram or Facebook, it starts to sometimes make you jealous or you start to compare yourself to people. But you can, but you have to remind yourself not to do that. It's easy to look at people, but you don't know what the person did to get what they have. And you just on the outside looking like everything is great. You don't know if that what that person's struggle was. I think you, so I think that's why you got to detach sometimes. Just clear your head and refocus on what's really important in life. You know what I mean? Okay. That's what I'm saying. Like and it I, takes a whole week away from <laughs> social media to realize, what's my purpose in life, sometimes. Lord? So it's Remove not your even, social media. It's not even to figure out your purpose, but you may need to detach to refocus, you know? Yeah. So that's what I think it is. I do it sometimes. Matter of fact, just because we're talking about it, I might just do it again just because. Hey. hey. Just because. Hey. Listen, you know, let me going, tell you. I'm going through a little thing right now, but we'll discuss that towards the end of the podcast. What little thing are you talking about? You already know. We're going, we're going through a little anyway. thing. No, let's so talk about know. it now. Let's get the listeners what they want no, now. No, 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 no. But I definitely was happy that. Have you heard of the Bean Boozle Challenge? Yes. Let me tell you. That's, they tell you all the time to never say never, but I promise you, I will never, ever do that again. What are you only supposed to do one time? Let me tell you. It was so disgusting. I know. I've seen the video. I so, was like, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Tell us about no, the bamboo. No, challenge. tell me what you were about to say. No, I was just saying that I seen the video that you did with Ramel. Yes. Yes. Faces by Mel. Mel. And if you remember, she was a guest on the show. Yeah. On our last episode. Absolutely. And um I really enjoyed the video. And and to see your faces and your expressions eating these jelly beans. It's just, it was just, it was just crazy. It, and y'all didn't follow the rules, no kind of sort of way. I don't I'm like, know that's not how it. you do the bamboo. Well, yeah, how do you do it? Because <laughs> I was just like. They grouping. just eating them at the same time. I'm like, well, which one you got? Which one you got? <laughs> Hold on, how you supposed to do it though? Tell me. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, that's not how you're supposed to do it. Though. Okay, don't, don't be telling me it's not how we're supposed to do something. That's not how supposed to know. go. You don't even know how we're supposed to do it. No, I forgot. I, I know it's supposed forgot. to be. I don't you, know. Ne- you never knew. You never knew. But I know that's not the way. You never knew. But no, I had a great time doing it. It was so disgusting. I mean, I literally almost threw up. 
We had a barf bag in the center of the floor. It was crazy. Um, but yep. Kayla was like, can I have some water? <laughs> yeah, oh, Kayla. <laughs> Shout out to Kayla. That's my baby girl. If you don't know, she was the real MVP. She Handled was, those she was, jelly beans yeah. like she was. I, I said, who this? Who, who, who this woman? I was like, what? I thought she was gonna tap out. I can't believe I tapped out first. I could. What you mean you I, could? No, so you do not be down for the <laughs> Listen. I do. You don't be down for the challenge. I be down. You don't be down for All the challenge. All the way down. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mini rock down. But, but it looks like it was fun. And, it and, was. It and, was. And, and, and that's the thing about it. Yeah, I, got I got some if you want to try. I got some nah, I'm things. good. Oh, I don't okay. want no rotten egg, no toilet water, no <laughs> no dog shit, whatever they be putting up in them jelly beans and all that type of stuff. We can't do it. Uh-huh. Yeah, we can't do nothing. They may have a lot of followers. I don't know if they real. I don't know if they fake. I really don't care. Because at the end of the day, I mean, at the end of the day, just because you have a lot of followers, are you making money off of those followers? Like, that's the that's what I really want to know. Is, my question is, if someone has them, do you feel like they supposed to have money? Or do you feel like you ain't nothing? You work at McDonald's. But I don't think ain't nothing wrong as long as you working. Yeah, I don't... No, I don't think just because you work at McDonald's, it you is what it is. A, yeah. a, 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 but who's to say who's followers. to say their social media isn't their business? Exactly. And they're just working at exactly. McDonald's just to do it. Because like I said, if you have a lot of followers and you're profiting off of that, then... Hey, yeah, exactly. then it is what it is. And let me tell you, McDonald's got the bomb.com McFlurries. Ain't nothing wrong with working at That don't McDonald's. got nothing to do with the seven ninety five that they getting paid. I'm just saying, though. But, I mean, McFlurries, that's the job perk. <laughs> like, you get McFlurries all the time. And you can give yourself. They don't want it all the time. But you can give they yourself extra cookies and cream, extra M&M's. I'm just saying. Damn. But, yeah, I don't, but, I don't think it's cool to throw shade at anybody you for what they work do. There? I, I don't you. think I it's cool to throw it. shade at anybody for what they do for a living. I feel like if you're working, then you the MVP. Okay, so what do you say to someone who's in their 40s and they're working at McDonald's? Keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing? Keep doing what you're doing. Would you date somebody like that? Why would I? It doesn't matter. Why would, would you date somebody like that? No, right? what do you mean why would I date somebody like that? Because that doesn't mean maybe they're trying to get a job and they can't. Like, if your career aspiration is to be at McDonald's and you're 40, by all means, you're working towards being the manager. My thing is have a goal. Work towards being something. But sometimes people are just stuck. It is, I'm, I'm telling you, you have people right now who are 40 years old who are working at McDonald's and they got a family to feed. So you got to do what you got to do. Exactly. Would you want to be jobless? So, no, that's, so, no, no are exactly. Are you going to be jobless when waiting? But no, that's exactly work. what my point. When you say that someone don't act like a job doesn't fall into the line of thinking of of judging someone in a sense in this society I don't think because a job it's, to find someone. if you work at McDonald's and you're 40 years old and working at McDonald's and you have kids, 
okay? Or let's just say when it comes down to even dating you, how are we going to do anything and you can barely take care of yourself off of a McDonald's That's salad? That's fine, but do you understand that anybody can be at McDonald's? Right now, you can lose your job and you can be at McDonald's. You, you don't work. know what somebody And that makes you let, though. and people judge you based off of that. You, That's all I'm saying. And what I'm saying is people shouldn't do that. And what I'm they saying should. is that I don't do that because I know better. But I'm so, saying a lot of women do. A lot of women. What are we talking about women? What? I'm just what? saying, a lot of women Don't do, do when that. it comes down. To how did you get to women? See, that's how <laughs> men psychologically just want to bash women. I'm not We're, bashing no, women. I'm we, just saying that's no, how they think. I, okay, go I ahead. mean, not how they think. I'm just exactly. saying that's how. <laughs> you did it again. We are having a discussion about people's perception that I said they shouldn't think like that. And you're like, well, majority of people do think like that. Now, all of a sudden, it's the women. So the men don't think like that because I'm I don't thinking even know how vice we, versa. Why it's vice versa, though. Why is it separated though. by gender? Like, what are you talking it's about? It's vice versa, but men are more willing to do that because we, we tend to take care of women. So, therefore, therefore, if the roles are reversed, when it comes down to a man, if he's of a certain age and he's not at a certain plateau, not even at a certain plateau, but just the basic necessities of taking care of himself, you're going to automatically think, what can that person do for you? But you still have to talk to that person. Maybe they just do a McDonald's part time. You don't know. And that's, that's true. One thing. You and that's true. You cannot just look at someone and judge someone. You have to be open to get to know them. And if you're a person who feels like he, you can't be with him because he works at McDonald's, that's fine, too. But I'm just saying, don't, you got to talk to people still and see where people's at. That could just be his little side hustle. I get what don't you're saying. Die. I'm just saying don't. Don't act like it doesn't happen because it I'm happens. I'm saying that it shouldn't, so I am, I'm implying that it does happen. Okay. That's implied. All right, if so I'm, we get it. <laughs> we get it. You. I'm just saying it happens. And, I'm, and that's implied. That's just I'm like saying. living at home with your mom, that, okay? Living at home with your mom at a certain age for a guy, it, 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 it is a turn off to a lot of people. It's a turn off to a lot of women. And... They judge you based off of that. Mm, I don't think so. I do. If, I, if your mother got a big house, and you got the bottom how big or if you, <laughs> hey, you, got or the bottom if you and your mother are joint on a mortgage, I mean, it's your house. Like, it, it depends. You still live at it home depends. with your mom. No, there's a, look, the way the economy is, things are different. You can't even look at it like that. People, it ain't no way people, the economy no, people is. People are staying home longer. Families are purchasing. Longer. Fam- listen. Not fam- forever. Families are purchasing homes with more square footage so everyone can be in the same place and have their I own space. What's wrong with that? I don't see anything wrong with that. No, I get I get that whole portion. I'm saying your if you're place. about 40, maybe 45, <laughs> and you're still living you at home. The, you are the parent at 40 and 45 that got people staying with you, that your kids are staying with you. That's different. <laughs> when you're staying at home with your mom. Like, you, at home with mom you at should 45. not be 40 years old, still living at home with a place you where you grew that. up. You can't say that. Yes, I can. What if they're disabled? Come on. If you're disabled. I mean, no, 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 no. You're saying you cannot be 40. I'm saying, but what if the person disabled then? I mean, then if you're disabled, that's, that's the exception. <laughs> and mental why. illness. Uh, you know <laughs> okay. You know Bodily you know injury or mental you know illness. Know that's you about it. Circumstances are. You don't know. Maybe they may hate to be home with their parents, but they have to. I'm just about doing okay. what you gotta do. You know, it's, if you gotta be there, just piece. don't let it be your end goal. Be working on getting out. That's all I'm saying. You know. I'm gonna get you somebody that you live at home. <laughs> I'm gonna get you somebody that live at home and see what you say. Look, make sure you keep this nobody. open-mindedness when you when you talk <laughs> when you talk about when you talk about dating somebody. Now. I don't even. You don't even want. You don't even what? I don't even want to talk about dating right now. Shout out to all the daters and lovers. In the world. How is your dating life going, <laughs> Oxytocin? Because we got to set. We got to set some stuff up for you. My dating life is actually really beautiful. Um, it's, beautiful. It's amazing. <laughs> it's out of this world. Um, it's a beautiful Dang, thing. Dang, you getting it like that? <laughs> it's great. It's great, and, and I wouldn't even want to change it at all. It's oh wow. It's perfect. Okay. It's all great. right. It's oh, wonderful. Okay. Yes. Yes, so who was you dating that's making it all perfect and wonderful? And Nobody. I hear that. Nobody. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not dating anyone right now, man. I don't 
Yes. So let me ask uh, what what is wrong with men? <laughs> let me ask you this. I see toes. I see. What is home? wrong with men in 2016 that we need to change in 2017? Hell, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what's wrong with me. If anything is wrong with me. Maybe I'm in a wrong part you of town. You had almost about 20 something years <laughs> to figure that out. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a wrong part of town. That's all. <laughs> I just trying to go to Vegas. Out. Maybe I need to go to Chattanooga, Tennessee. <laughs> go find you a country person. You know, maybe I need to go to, uh, somewhere like, I don't know, down south or something. Do you think you really need to move? I think so. I think, yeah. Sometimes that will do it, though. Maybe. Some I'll... people move and they find something different. Yeah. And they find something that they not used to. There's only so many people you can date in the DMV area. <laughs> I mean... It's a lot of people here, but eventually you're going to run into the same kind of type. So you think you maybe need to go somewhere? Maybe. I don't know. I'm just not. Look, I'm focused on this podcast. Okay. All right. I, I hear it. Y'all hear it. <laughs> I'm focused on some other things. I'm not. I mean, Y'all hear oxytocin? I'm not too worried about that. It is what it is. I'm enjoying the single life. Honestly, every stage of life is meant to be enjoyed, I believe. Um, right I now, would I'm enjoy enjoying the single stretch. And when I'm in a relationship, I'm going to enjoy that. When I'm engaged, I'm going to enjoy that for what it's worth. And when I'm married, I'm going to enjoy that for what it's worth. You know? See, the thing about being Appreciate single is moment. you get to... You get to just... You get to just do you. You know what, what I'm saying? that's what I'm doing. You get but to then, do you. Now, that's a lot of lonely nights. Okay? <laughs> it's a lot of lonely fine, nights. Ain't wrong. You got to learn to enjoy but your company. You, you're right. You have to enjoy yourself and that's one thing that i used to love about being single is because i would just enjoy myself sometimes <laughs> uh, that sounds that sound a little extra enjoyment out. right okay okay that's but nah <laughs> sometimes you have to just <laughs> be willing to just just be by yourself and True. be and be happy with just being you with you and doing what you want to do. Exactly. Yeah. I agree. Totally. All right. And I'm, that's exactly what I'm doing. Well, we're going to leave on that note. <laughs> we're going to leave on that note. <laughs> <laughs> well, we up out of here, you guys. We, oh, you know what? We definitely want to say our thoughts, prayers, and condolences go out to Ohio State University. There was a shooting on campus. Um, there was a shooting on campus at Ohio State University, so our thoughts and our prayers are with everyone who was injured, anyone who was hurt. Yeah. Uh, they did say the gunman is the gunman is dead. Um, so just shout out to that person too, because I mean they had issues as well. So we definitely want to. You think it's something family. in the water? What, what's going on? Like why is it's everybody nice. going crazy? I don't know. I, I don't know, but it's just really really sad. Um. You know, I, we we like to laugh here and have fun here, but it's some real things that go on. And we really Yes. Our condolences go out to all of the families affected. And, um, yeah, it's a sad situation. But you know what? We got another day to try to make it better and to make it right. So we're about it here, you guys. It's been a wonderful episode talking and chatting with you guys. This is Drinks and Conversation. Yes, and we are out. Hey. It's no one's having to work. Mace came out. I was like, Hollow Wear. Hey. I got to get that coat. Uh, I'm going to wear that joint. Hey. I'm being Mace for Halloween. Man.